signature 1976 hit, Cherry Bomb. Four decades later, the group's bassist, Jackie Fuchs, a.k.a. Jackie Fox, is dropping a different kind of bomb, accusing the band's then-manager of sexually assaulting her when she was just 16 years old. Now 55, Jackie is not only sharing her story, but also claiming bandmates Joan Jett and Sherry Curry knew about it. The runaway secret shame is tonight's Inside Story. There's a lot about this night I don't remember because I was drugged. December 31st, 1975 is the night that has haunted Jackie Fuchs since she was just a 16-year-old bass player for The Runaways, which consisted of Cherie Curry, Joe Jett, Sandy West, Lena Ford, and Jackie. Their manager was Kim Fowley. Tell me about Kim Fowley. Kim could be incredibly charming, and he was intelligent. He was also a little off. Kim arranged for the band to stay at a motel after the gig where Jackie says she was given quaaludes by a roadie. The next thing I was aware of, Kim Fowley was lying on top of me, raping me, and I looked up over his shoulder, and there was a room full of people watching. So Joe and Cherie were both there that night, and he raped you? Yes. And they were in the room? Yes. And they didn't do anything? Correct. Why do you think that is? I think that they were, uh, look, they were kids. Now I can imagine how they must have felt watching it. I think it was horrible for them. And I think they carried around a lot of guilt afterwards. So I have a lot of compassion for my bandmates and the other witnesses. Both Cherie and Joan deny being aware of the incident. Cherie issued this statement on Facebook. I have been accused of a crime of looking into the dead yet pleading eyes of a girl while she was brutally raped and doing it. nothing. If I were guilty, I would admit it. Joan released this statement also on Facebook. Anyone who truly knows me understands that if I was aware of a friend or bandmate being violated, I would not stand by while it happened. Mm -hmm. Although we haven't spoken in decades, I wish Jackie peace and healing. Kim Fowley has always denied any improper relationship with the band's members, and he was never charged with a crime. Fowley died in January from bladder cancer. In his band biography, he says, quote, they can talk about it until the cows come home, but in my mind, I didn't make love to anybody in the runaways, nor did they make love to me. What do you say to that? Rape is not making love, and it was rape. Not just statutory rape, it was premeditated, actual raping of an unconscious teenage girl. But Jackie's account, which was first published in the Huffington Post, has been corroborated by others, including the band's co-founder, Carrie Crow. Forty years later, Jackie says she's speaking out to heal herself and empower other victims of rape. I've gotten so many emails and messages from people who say, I was raped and I never came forward and told anyone, and thank you for speaking up for us. It has, it has moved me incredibly.